Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about urinary catheters in deep. Right, so now uh, all of you have seen the urinary catheters, they look like this, right? Most common catheters that we used are Foley's catheters and they look like this. Uh, they are the tubal devices made up of rubber and there is an inflatable bubble at one of the end. Right, so here it is how this kind of Foley's catheter are placed inside a inside a female uh, structures for example the catheter is here and the bulb or the balloon is inside the bladder and uh, with this setting it makes the catheter self-retaining right so now uh, it is similar in the uh, in the male uh, urethra also right now we'll go from the very basics right what is the basic function? What is the basic function of catheter? Any type of catheter. The basic function is to drain the uterine, uh, uh, drain the urine for short or and extended period of time. Okay, the basic function of the catheter is what? Urinary catheter is what? To drain the urine. Right? Now, now uh, a more meaningful, deeper and very basic question why we need to catheterize the patient on first instance why we need to catheterize the patient because you know that the micturition which is a normal way of normal way of uh, uh, normal way of excreting the the urine from the body right so uh, is a micturition micturition is a complex process patient need to be conscious socially appropriate Right, and it involve it involves various several neural pathways too. So, whenever the patient is not able to ambulate, or the patient is not conscious, or the patient for the patient it is not socially appropriate to micturate, then at that time we put the catheter. Right now, we need to drain the urine manually from the bladder we are passing through the urethra so in the catheter what we do we just pass a tube from the urethra to the bladder and we need uh, we, we drain the urine manually right now catheter as a device to help with this function so if some patient if some person is not able to make sure that then at that time the catheter are uh, are for help right now the catheter basically are of two types it may it may, made up, it may be made up of metallic or metal uh, 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 metal components and um, many of them are made up of rubber also okay so the metallic catheter metallic urinary catheter which were used in past a lot of times uh, uh, they are mostly for you know a females right because the, uh, the urethra in the female is smaller very smaller compared to the urethra in the male and it is little bit straightforward also so around 4 cm of length is a uh, female urethra so it's very easy to catheterize uh, with the metal catheter in females but not in males right right now uh, metallic catheter as nor are not used nowadays uh, very commonly Ex expect in the, you know in, except in the surgeries uh, the rubber catheter are used most commonly right now there are two types of catheter non self retaining in which there is a long tube tubal device but there is no balloon and self retaining where the long tubal device is there with an inflatable balloon so if we see self retaining foley's catheter are self retaining type and non self retaining are like see k19 or simple rubber catheter are uh, are of non self retaining uh, type right now catheters are also used to irrigate the bladder uh, in some cases right uh, or even you know in cystitis even you can just supply the uh, antibiotics through the catheter into the bladder so it will act locally also so catheters are much of use than just draining of the urine now now let's talk about the metallic catheter in short so this is how the metallic catheter looks uh, it is mostly used nowadays for you know uh, at the time of vaginal surgeries when you need to drain the catheter frequently and uh, simultaneously along with the you know catheter draining of the urine function is there it is also acting as a bladder sound that means it can be used to know the lower limit or lower boundary of bladder on the anterior vaginal wall so that it helps you to for the various vaginal operations like colorography and you know 
anterior and posterior cold fracture kind of this so metallic catheter uh, is only used during surgery uh, be because of you know it is helps uh, it also act as a uh, bladder sound now the length of the female urethra is 4 cm you should know this now let's talk about the non self retaining catheter and k19 k90 is one of the red type and is very commonly used catheter nowadays so k19 is a simple rubber tube easily you know uh, it's very simple tube uh, plastic material it is disposable it is used more uh, in, it is used nowadays more uh, for for drainage of the urine during the surgery instead of the metallic catheter ones right so k19 is very important uh, important kind of kind of device now the most commonly used catheters are of foley's catheter foley's is a person uh, was a scientist doctor uh, who want, uh, who just invented the foley's catheter that's why the name is foley's catheter okay right so it is a kind of rubber self retaining catheter okay uh, and the mechanism behind the self retain retention is inflatable balloon now understand this simple figure okay i i try to make it uh, very simple so there are two tubes basically it looks like that there is only one tube in the catheter but actually there are two lumen in that particular tube okay one one lumen the bigger one is to drain the urine right here and the other lumen is for the balloon okay it is connected to the balloon and it is not connected to the urinary drainage lumen it is separate one and uh, in uh, on the you know in that lumen of uh, balloon lumen there is a one way valve also so you can you, know, you can pass some uh, you can pass the uh, normal saline or fluid uh, in that balloon in one direction only so it cannot come you know uh, without pressing the valve so it is one way valve now the, the the drainage lumen can be connected to the urinary bag or euro bag okay so this is how you uh, drain the urine balloon is fixed as the bladder base because you know you when you just enter into the bladder then only after you need to inflate the balloon so when uh, when you just take the, when you because of the weight or gravity when the catheter comes out the 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 balloon is fixed to the base okay so now the catheter becomes retained it doesn't slip out uh, there are three way catheter also available in the in the market for various uses kind of uh, let's say irrigation of the bladder in which there are three layers three lumens are there okay the two layers were same as two uh, two way catheter for example one for the balloon one for the urine to come out and but the third lumen is added in this kind of catheters where the third lumen is added where you can you know you can just uh, pass any you know fluid let's say normal saline or antibiotics or anything inside the bladder so the one lumen is for one lumen is for going inside to the bladder and uh, you can just you know irrigate the bladder in case of any cystitis or uh, uh, in case of suspected uh, you know injury during uh, during various uh, uh, biopsy guided needle guided biopsies like let's say ovum pickup you can uh, you will need this kind of catheter to irrigate continuously right now <clears throat> and the third lumen is connected to the uh, fluid supply that is ns <clears throat> the balloon is inflated generally with only 10 ml of saline do not inflate balloon more than 10 ml but yeah sometimes the capacity of balloon is generally around 30 ml and uh, if you try to push more fluid more than 30 ml there are higher chances of rupture of the balloon okay and when you need to remove the catheter you need to deflate the balloon first then only you uh, remove the catheter right uh, this kind of catheter generally used you know for a short period of time let's say one or two days where the post operative period is there when the patient is not ambulatory so it is used for one day one or two only but in many cases where you know where uh, more ambulation is required in those cases where the even sometimes you know doing uh, surgeries like let's say uh, lscs which is the commonest surgery uh, sometimes bladder injury is there so in that in that problem you need to you know uh, drain the bladder continuously for seven days right to help the bladder wall to uh, generally uh, uh, regain its strength now uh, 
catheter should be kept minimum as possible it should not be kept unnecessary because there is increased risk of uti urinary tract infection if you need to still if you need to uh, kept it for long time then sequential decatheterization should be done that means that bladder training should be done before removing the catheter and how the bladder training is done catheter is blocked manually for some time till the patient gets an urge of urination and at that time the blood the catheter is opened or uh, not obstructed and the patient will feel like that he is or he or she is passing the urine then again just block the catheter so that again the patient will feel the urge so this uh, bladder training should be done in case of the long term in case of the uh, extended period catheterization okay now now let's talk about the size of the catheter because it's very confusing most of the time because the size of the catheter is uh, generally you know uh, counted in a french so one french means 0.33 mm okay so uh, the 0.33 mm is the diameter of the catheter lumen so in, ca in case of men 14 to 16 uh, french uh, size of the catheter are used and in the woman 10 to 12 uh, french size of the catheter has used so i think that's enough about the uh, catheter uh, also uh, i have been running my uh, viva series on my youtube channel uh, in which you will find such uh, very simple simply uh, ex explained videos about you know uh, surgeries and everything about obstetric gynecology so uh, if you have time and if you are serious to learn and if you are uh, you know you want some you, uh, you are not a bookish person who who generally you know don't get enough knowledge from reading book because book is very reading a textbook long long textbook it's very boring and most of many of the students are not able to read it uh, though they have a very high capacity of you know their brain but still because of they can't read just like that they are uh, they are getting lower and lower marks so for those kind of students who want who want uh, more of a audio visual mediums for learning they can subscribe or uh, uh, just get membership on my channel in which you will get all this kind of videos more and more frequently and uh, some of the rare videos and some of the trips and tricks of how to pass the examination or one kind of uh, videos right so thank you friends have a nice day